Hello Griftland friends and welcome back to Altius Plays Griftlands. We have had a hiatus because I'm always having a hiatus because I'm spending so much time on stream. So you should join me there if you haven't already. Links in the description as usual. You know how YouTube works, right? Uh, I haven't been playing Griftlands on stream so we haven't missed anything. Except for the fact we've missed a lot of updates. What's all this? <laughs> Here's all the stuff that's been moved around. Okay, it's all been moved around. The UI has been shoved upwards. Hevel grunts like a grease fire as you approach. Package came for you. Who left it? Don't even name, just a package. You have a shrewd eye in there somewhere, Hevel. I'm sure of it. Just take it before it explodes, that'd be bad for business. Cool, cool, cool. Hevel resumes his duties, making sure to keep the bar between himself and your package. Open the package. <gasps> huh, no explosion. Must be my lucky day. Instead, you find a bundle of loose papers and a note addressed to you in a complex cipher it'll take a moment to decode. Nevertheless, years of training have allowed you to grasp most of the work at a glance. Candidate device located. Deep bog rumoured hermetic faction. The next portion requires more clear translation, but after a moment of study, its meaning unfurls before you. Secure the loyalty of one of your contacts using the enclosed intelligence. Either one of them should know more about these boggers. A daft bogger. The intelligence file itself reveals the location of a bogger encampment and implies that they found a large cache of ancient technology. This is the kind of lead that either the barons or the rise would literally kill for. So I can't remember what we're doing. <laughs> there's no sort of, there's no journal or anything. There's just uh, you know, a list of quests. Um, we can either give it to Calandra or we can give it to Felimo. Um You can convince Felimo to act on the to take the bomb, or this is see if Hebel has any information for you, which is you. Uh, in fact, we can just talk to you. What cards have you got? Same sort of set. Okay, okay. Uh, change it to another one of Rook's outfits. I ain't gonna stop you. Change outfit. Put on Aeros that you Well, this looks so much different. Uh, I can't really remember how this. I remember how the game works. I do not remember how the plot of this storyline works. I seem to remember that we have the opportunity to do some of these things once a day. Uh, here are the two places we can go to. So, this chap. I know we're basically working for both. I remember that much. Um, I seem to remember we got found out in the last episode. Somebody knows that we're playing a double agent. It's not like we're being particularly stealthy about it, and this is a small town. So. I also remember that there was a... We sabotaged this thing. Uh, and made everyone run away. Let's have a look here then, first. See if we get... Uh, okay, nothing on the way. Shoot so. Who's available? Plock of the swabs here. We like Plock of the swabs. Any good grafts? What have I got? I've got a space for a battle graft. I like that there's a little thing that tells you there. So you know if there's only one point looking. Uh, start of each battle game to charge. Battle. Of his turn, apply two marks to a random enemy. That's actually pretty good. 180 shells. Uh, that's quite a lot. Um, so she likes us. You're, you're a guard. You're the proprietor. <laughs> you do stuff as well. Buy cards. <laughs> it's all enemy arguments lose all dominance. Okay, that's a... Uh, that's okay. Cheap. That's okay. Gamble twice, evoke, prepare a card, and play will expend. Deal one to four damage, gamble once per resolve loss. Presumably taken, like, damage dealt, not. I'm not going to lose any resolve for doing that. Apply two fixed expend... Oh, it's hit again. One defense. The start of this owner's turn, removal from... Whenever this target is hit, you gain one defense. I don't know how good that is. I'm not even sure what our decks look. Let's have a quick look. Lots of blasting. Some deep bog secrets that we need to hatch, but I don't think we have enough energy. We're not. I'm guessing we're not gaining a lot of energy because we've only played that one three times and that one nuts. So we've got some basic defenses. Some basic attacks. Probably stand to remove some of these. To thin it out a little bit. Lots of basic attacks. 
We have one that we can destroy permanently, which is great. But not without replacing it, right? This is to take one damage. Unplayable Parasite Hatch. At some point, I want to know what that's going to do. And I'm <laughs> kind of hoping that that one is going to turn into something good if we keep it going on long enough. But I have a horrible feeling that we're actually going to turn into a tree or something. So maybe that's not so great. Uh, all attacks piercing. Okay, and then negotiation. This one was really good because take names was amazing. Look how many we've got. Um... I actually think most of our... So this deck's fine, I think. I seem to remember that our battle deck is not that great. I want Scorch whenever you apply Burn. Do we have any Burn things going on? Really? What's this going to turn into? Interesting. Not a lot is burning at all here. The scorch, we've already got scorched. <laughs> but no burn. Okay, so that's not useful. The music thing is weird. Don't forget this is an early access game, it's a it's a beta game. So don't be too upset. Because strangenesses, and of course it keeps changing. Uh ricochet. I'm gonna buy that. And then I'm gonna get rid of I don't think we need this many hunker downs, so let's get rid of that. Cool. Uh, there's nothing else to do here, we might as well head off. I do recall that we can get a free bazooka every day or something similar to that. Perhaps we've already done that today though. Uh, we're going to go with... I'm going to go with Calandra, I'm not sure I like that person. Now we get a thing. You heard an ungodly commotion up ahead, oh it's you. Shell, our favourite from Cell campaign. So she's here as well for some reason. A lone merchant is staring down a wild grawkit with a short knife. Known for its uncanny camouflage. Stay back, old man. Excuse me. Thing is dangerous. The merchant dodges an attack with surprising agility and counters with a wild swing. A knife throws up sparks as it scrapes ineffectively against the beast's tough hide. Ask if Shell needs help. Wait to see how this ends. Attack the beast. Leave the merchant to her fate. You need help? Oh, I've got this. Yeah, I don't believe you. Just, just, let's get some XP. Hello, welcome here. What are we doing? <laughs> what for? In one overcharge. Improvise a random item. Okay. Two uses. Draw another card. Two random cards plus some dot until play. We have it. We'll use it. Perfect. Okay, one of those is an unplayable burnout. Burnout. If it's in your hand at the end of your turn, expend it. So you have to try and discard that. That's interesting. I like that. Uh, so we'll start here. Well, do we? Hi. You gonna do anything? Just some damage. Fair enough. She's already done some damage to it. Look at that. That's not too bad. Uh, so we'll shoot you. Shoot you. And we'll do that. that seems fair. Hopefully, we have some piercing shots. Target all enemies, gain two defense per target. Are we taking any damage? No. You are. Gain two charge and two defense. Can we spend our charge? Is this loud for you? I will turn it down just a tad. I'm also going to turn my own personal volume down. Well, apparently my Netflix volume. That's better. Spend up to two charge, deal three bonus damage per charge spent. I'm assuming I keep that. 
In one defend per empty cell, in game one charge at the end of the start of your turn. Discard two random cards from your hand, then gain two actions. Interesting. That one hatched, which is why we took damage, by the way. You're over there. Twitch is over there. YouTube's up there. All attacks are piercing until the end of your turn. Are you doing anything? Not really. I didn't really need to use that, but also I didn't need to not use that. I'm not gaining any um, charge, but we might as well spend that. Kind of wanted to spend that, but I'd rather just get this fight over with. It's all the same for you. Uh, double your overcharge. Can I spend it? Concentration. Increase minimum damage of all attacks by one. Do need some defense. Let me start there. Well, I say start. <laughs> Wasn't so great. Might as well have some Scorched on you. Oh. It seems to be a fairly reasonably easy fight so far. I'm immune to something. Uh, are we still concentrating? No. Can we kill you? Or at least make you run away? 20 damage. Do that. By ricochet equal to damage dealt by this card. I'm gonna play this. And then I'm gonna play this because I want to. And I think we got this fight in the bag, so it doesn't really matter too much if we take an extra turn. You ran away anyway, sorry. No worries. She's one of three battle cards. Costs one less per empty cell. Deals max damage at fully charged. The target has bum. Gain one action. We are spending that seems good. It's five! Ooh. But we do need to make sure we've got some empty cells, right? Uh, stone crank gain two charge and four defense. We'll gain three charge and two defense. So we'd like to not crank up our charges too much because we now have one that costs five if we have too much charge. Uh, why did you? What did I do here? You're five damage to all enemy arcs. Okay, okay. So they both upgrade, but this one switches the thing. Um, I can't remember what our strategy is, but I think it might be snails. I think we can set the coin actually quite easily. There are some snails. Yeah, there's a lot of snails here. I apologize for being slightly sniffly. One of those days. Before I had that under control, I'm going to charge you double for interfering with a professional. Charge? Protecting you from the girl kick. Oh. Wish I had 200 shells. Now listen here, I didn't. Put your mouth right in your throat. Uh, no. Bad credit, buying anything from shopkeepers. Don't do that in the future, apparently. You got lucky once, merchant. Uh, we will take this. There you go. Fairly simple. I have one evasion. So whatever you're doing doesn't matter. So I'm going to hatch this. Find out. Bog down, apply stun and expend. For the rest of the, so it's an expend, not a destroy, so we can play it once per battle. Which is fine. Then it's two charge, deal three bonus damage. Third charge, so six. Yep. And then you need 17 damage. We're we doing nine damage to me? I miss it. Do some damage to you. Six damage to all characters, unplayable. You're gonna surrender. Right. Right. Detect 
tw we did have concentration somewhere. Where did we get that from? It wasn't very. It wasn't like an obvious thing to make happen. I think. Uh, got some decent cards though. Yeah, I don't think ten shields is worth that. Watch your back, thief. Screw you, hippie. Never help out people. That's a lesson here. I wish we could have um, hired her, to be honest. If oh yeah, requisition to Rupik. What was uh, up to code? Gotcha. Yeah, have a look at this. The boggers find themselves a weapons cache. Those bog adult fools are more likely to worship them than put them to good use. The right hand says weapons could topple the barracks. Retrieve them? No, it's doing a job for just one person, and I don't trust this report. Not yet, at least. We'll discuss this again soon. I need to consider our options. We're going to do it with cash. If it's real, I intend to take it. By force? If it comes to that, then there might be a better way. The boggers are a hard bunch to read. Who are these boggers? They worship the bog like it was some kind of living thing. Most of them are ex-barren. Too much free time, I guess. And they get philosophical. They mostly keep to the deeper parts of the bog, so we don't encounter them much. Get work. How can I be of service to the rise while you're busy hatching plants? Um, I, I said that in a sarcastic way, like I was like, what do you expect to do? But in fact, the question was literally, what do you expect to do? There's always work to be done. Uh, mole fixer. Cricket is a mole worker for the Spark Barons, feeding critical information to the rise. Kalandra relies on that information to direct operations, but lately Cricket has stopped talking. Talk to Cricket, somehow, and figure out how to turn the tap back on. Rewards, bonus, this person likes me, and there's a shield for a graft, or... More shells in a graft, and also a negotiation. Trade secret steal secret research data from the barons and sell it to the highest bidder to raise funds for the rise. Okay. Um, why these are equally difficult, so why not just get more shells? I have a lead, a researcher who is none too happy with the terms of their contract. If we could convince them to leak some secrets, we could sell them off for a profit. That money could go a long way towards supporting the cause. Yeah, some how exactly? It's up to you, ain't it? Honey or vinegar. Both taste sweet compared to bog water anyway. Screw that. Something inside is bound to be valuable. I'll see what can be done. Done. Let's go. Moving on. For you. A vendor? What have you got? Done a metallic. Duplicate something. That was actually really good. When we had it last. I can't afford any of these. Um... Apply two in power on everything and expend. Worth two. Pretty good. I can't afford it, sorry. You're a guard. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what the icon means at the top. Alright, what have we got here? This is it. This is where we were. Nothing here, alright. Oh, special missions on the way. You find a leash's hovel amidst the sprawl. Or hovel if you are a Canadian. So. Visitor. Visitor, visitor. Leisha. Just a bystander. Unclear whether Leisha's easygoing attitude is a result of her temperament or the fumes radiating off her wares. Leisha nods an acknowledgement of your presence. Where does it start? Ask Leisha about her research. I've heard that you're an extremely gifted researcher of some of the bogs. Keep a secret? The barons must be very lucky to have you. Ha! Ah, supposedly. Loving the uh, voice effect on that. Digging it. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear it. I don't mean to pry, but I'm an admirer of your work. It would be a tragedy if you weren't able to achieve your potential. Surely the barons must be willing to give you whatever you need for your work. Well, certainly, if what I need is silk to line my pockets, while the labourers go unrewarded. Oh, liberals! We dig up vagrant age tech. Ancient era during which the planet was colonised by Seisfes. And never question what ruined that once great civilization to begin with. It does sound frustrating. More than that, barons are only interested in profiting off the tech we find, not in understanding it. I've got the cadence wrong on that, but you know, sometimes you've got to read things twice to get them right, and that's okay too. The piece of rice on my desk, and I've just noticed. <laughs> but those who don't study history are doomed to repeat it. Who's to say it won't be the bones of our society that lay rotting long forgotten? Not enough barons dislike you. Interesting mechanic. I appreciate that. 
Convince beat up Leaf. I don't think I'm going to get any barons to dislike me between now and then. Before I want to come back. So it's got a bit of resolve, but it's a weird number. It's like it's mine plus ten. What do you mean? A little chaos will make them appreciate what they have. How about you give me access to the research camp? Promise not to damage anything, just make them think. Right, already you're doing something that I'm not a fan of. I forgot we changed our coin. Draw a card or deal two damage. That's really sweet. Choose a card to prepare. Any of these good to prepare, right? I, I like this. Plus five damage and draw a card. We've also got to prepare a card there. <laughs> what is happening? This game is already insane. Choose up to two up to two cards to discard. Right, any of these discard. Play a random card in your hand for free, then expend it. Set the coin. I think this is we're gonna draw them. We're gonna replace these, right? We've only got three actions. We do want to blacklist you. Card game is one damage every time you gamble, expense. So you can go away. I'm not going to be doing that for a while. Uh, I would like some. Um, protection on my main argument now. Or, 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 uh, let some. What's defense called? Oh my god. You know what I mean. Well, no, I want to get rid of that. Influence might be better. Yeah. I won't face all your prepared. So we we're not gonna play that. What I'm gonna do right. Chill. Here's how this is gonna work. These are the same. We're going to prepare this. This counts. We're going to play this. Now even better than it was before. I've got two. Resolve. Resolve. No. The other one. Closure. <laughs> now we can play this if we wanted to. Set the coin sticky. That would give us three. And if I send it to snails, we do two more damage. Right, we're working slowly because we're coming back to this. Um, but you know, we'll figure it out. Jack <laughs> card prepare. No, no. Repair another card. Did I already gain an action? No. So we do this. <laughs> Slow down. All cards have a random cost between zero and two. Is that me? All of these are free. Is that her eccentricity that's done that? Yes. This game is crazy. You can stay prepared, that's fine. Prepared game one action. We got our action back. We don't need any actions. Buy three composer, draw a card, do that. Right, you're red not because I can't play you, but because you've been modified, that's fine. Got two set the coin stickies. Uh, so we will. We had. Draw a card, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> deal max damage. I'm not sure about you anymore. Might as well just play it straight. There we go. Now we got our action back. Uh, okay, gain one damage every time you gamble, which didn't just happen, unfortunately. It didn't count. Um, we can't play that and that, so we might as well just play this. We can draw a card that is good. We did! Unfortunately, it's not plus five damage to draw a card, but it's two to four damage. 
which is more damage. So it was another slow turn. I am thinking these through for once. Um. I'd rather prepare the, the upgraded one, to be honest. Stop drawing them both at the same time, <laughs> if you don't mind. Now that I'm a... When I was looking at my deck before, I didn't realise that I really wanted to remove one of these two, because having them both come out at the same time, all the time, is very annoying. Uh, should have prepared that one, actually. This is what happens when you don't think it through quickly, though. Um... So... I think we just do that. Why did I just get some influence? I did. Okay, fine. Good. Well done. <laughs> Prepared gain and influence. When this card is drawn, gamble unplayable. Gamble twice when you prepare a card. Don't really like any of those. One's okay, but we've got so many cards that already need prepare. Every single turn, we had a card that we can prepare some benefit, and I think all the benefits were better than that one. So there's going to be a rare occasion where that's the only card that's worth uh, preparing, and it's not worth having in the deck. To just get that. Let's have a look at my graft upgrade. Draw a card, then prepare a card. Sure. I assume that you can um, just say no, which is why you can cancel that. You can say, I don't want to upgrade that. Sounds like the Barons have ill intentions with technology anyway. They yeah, do. Yeah. I don't know who you are or what your motivation is, but Hesh help me yeah. here. Take my key card and make note of this password. You'll need both to enter the camp. Shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Yes. Provisions. First research camp is easy enough to find, but at first you second guess yourself. Strangely, it's deserted. Most of the supplies and tools have been removed from the site, but a locked shed looks promising. Yeah. Using the key that you got from Leisha, you'll unlock the shed and peer inside. Find some minor bog trinkets, a ream of technical notes. Take lockbox. When this card reaches full XP, which is a battle card, it is destroyed and triggers a special event. Ah, oh, yes, I mean, I'm just trying to take deep bog secret. We've already got one of those already. Uh, all the notes. Start there. Uh, I don't need that. Didn't look terribly important or interesting. On your way out, however, you hear the sounds of footsteps watching in the mood. What the? Why is this open? Hey, 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 who's in there? It says off limits, Grifter. How'd you even get in here? Astel notices the trinket you took from inside the shed. There's a thief, is it? Give Astel the security password. Calm yourself, I'm here on barren business. Belemo wants this trinket for himself. Tell Astel the password. He hesitates but keeps one hand on his weapon. Why send you? Why not just get one of us to deliver it? Because I have special skills. There you go. You're already losing. Choose a card to prepare. Uh, okay, on, on snails is card for snails. Gamble. Gamble. Okay, none of these needed preparing. Just because there was a card that I turned down that would have worked for prepare doesn't mean I would have drawn it at this point. Don't get your knickers in this race. Um, now. I mean, it literally doesn't matter. To discard, that's more useful. Okay. Uh, set the coin, set the coin. I kind of need to load it, not set it. Oh, because we're already on snails. So, draw two cards. Two to prepare a card is not worth it, I think. Um... Alright, here's how we do it. We do this, which gives us 5 damage. That was a gamble. I understand. A random card you have to free, then expend it. This is free, okay? So, I'm now going to do... The, uh, 
Just max damage. You are... Oh, I, I've rigged it already. Forgot about that. I understand. Is that one of my... I, I'm catching up with a very, very old game, okay? Uh, <laughs> next turn, I'll be fine. Once I've remembered everything that's happening. Uh, we can't play that. We can't play that. We can't play that. Do that. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. None of these are going to benefit from me playing that. And it's sticky, so I can keep it behind instead of. You understand. Card stolen. Why to jargon? By all means. Uh, why are you still on 16? Did I not already know you? Because that's headbang. Uh, okay, so we're going to prepare... This one, I suppose. I gambled a lot of times just now. <laughs> right, we definitely take names. We always take names. What's this? Stop doing that. Um, 6 to 6 or 16. We can't do the 16 without gaining a... Turn. So uh, uh, it's a manager, so we can't apply full composure. Might be good. We have two call it's now, which is great. Our gains one damage every time we gamble. Expend our card. This is a very difficult hand to pick from. We've got two cards that are free, but I don't want to play either of them. So basically, I want to pick one of these single cards. I might as well play. Because we're on heads right now. I might as well gain more influence. Give me this back. Do some damage to your core argument there. Um, I'm happy to keep these two sticky cards in my hand, to be honest. I've stolen... back did you again no preparable cards so it really doesn't matter oh excuse me don't like this at all well, my gambling isn't useful anymore okay but i'm gonna do this anyway uh, 16 is a lot of damage if you know that <laughs> it's a large number which is very helpful i would also like to put some composure on is it worth it? Yes, because it will spill over if I don't. So I might as well, you know, hide some of the damage. Yes. You're not even attacking your own straw man argument, loser. Is flipping this worth anything? Nothing becomes free by doing it, no? Then I shan't. Sifting pleasant repair uh, fine. Whatever. Um again we don't need Oh poo. Right, I thought that was the discard moment. What happened to the discard at the start of the thing thing? What's negotiation? I was stuck in the OP of the Sal run that we once had where you could do that on every turn and it was insane. Okay, uh, we need to do 10 damage. So what we need is some influence, which we can't seem to get. That's the thing. Uh, in this case, I think it's worth doing this. Um, this one. Now, oh, this is free. It's just going to keep, you know, putting stuff on there. A random friendly argument. The other one was all friendly arguments, which is a shame because I did it wrong. That's okay. Um, I think it's worth preparing that, maybe. Right, let's gamble. 
I was right now. Now it doesn't matter if we don't lose, uh, if we don't end the turn right now. So eight on here. You know, oh, I don't really want that. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. Uh, but we're nearly there, look, so we'll be alright. That, that's fine, take it. You are gonna. No, remember, we're preparing. None of these is a prepare. Whatever. That one. Um, set the coin to snails. Do some damage to that, sure, whatever. Stop being weird. Play that, draw two cards. One bonus damage is on there, and this is basically guaranteed. The range of two to six, I kind of expect you to do a little bit more than three, but yeah, about the equal chance of. Gamble twice, no. Prepare plus two damage. We've got one of those. Got all of those, and they weren't good enough. Cash out. Every time you gamble, damage reset when played, oh, rather than expend. Or it starts at four. I think I'd rather it stuck around. As much as I like it not being in my hand anymore, it's actually really useful if it's building um, damage and if I'm going to gamble a lot more. Probably should do in order to boost that. I don't think it has to be in your hand when you gamble, but I'm not sure. Might as well have one of each. <laughs> that blacklist is amazing. Well, I most suspects corporate yeah. sabotage. Of course, any barons found to be working against him will be discovered and duly punished. Oh, sabotage. Thing will undo me. If Elmo's investigating, I'll do whatever I can to help. Or troll back to where you get to put space between you. Good at flagging my way out of things, to be honest. Uh, right, we've got a... Zilt is looking for high value goods to smuggle out of the ground. Oh, what is this? Lena is buying up large packs of music. All right, so these are all the things that we just learned about. Go away first. You know what? That's been quite a long episode, so I'm going to say thank you for watching. I'm enjoying playing this game. I haven't forgotten that I enjoy playing this game. I'm just really focusing on streams right now. So if you want to be there uh, and not be a square, um, there's a link in the description. Also, there's a Discord and all that sort of good stuff in the description below. All the cool social media. I'm not really using Facebook, so I should probably remove that from the list. But who uses Facebook anymore? It's dead. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!